My name is Eric Bridges, and I am the Executive Director of the American Council of the Blind. But more importantly, I am married to my wife, Rebecca, and am the father to Tyler, our two-year-old son. Sandy hair, sport coat. Tyler can see, but both Rebecca and I can't. Rebecca and Tyler play with Legos. So life is interesting as it is for anybody that has a two-year-old child, but it's, it's interesting for us in that uh, he's obviously very active. He is sighted. He is curious about his world, which any kid of that age should be. Uh, and he's, he's learning how to, how to navigate his, his world and how to, how to communicate and express his wishes and desires in different ways, and learning his vocabulary. And so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a wild ride, it's great. He's got, a great, he's got a great temperament. I think he's got a really cute voice also. He's got a, he's just, uh, he's great. And I'm not afraid to say that I'm totally biased about that. Blonde haired Tyler scampers past his mom. As parents who are blind, uh, we do take uh, certain things into consideration, uh, for example. And a lot of, I know that a lot of sighted parents do similar things as well to keep track of their kids, but. Rebecca helps Tyler with shoes and socks. We, uh, we attach little bells to his shoes or to the back of his shirt so that we can hear him when he's roaming around the house or uh, in the backyard or in our, our courtyard in the front of our townhouse. The family outside of a restaurant. When we're out in public with him, uh, we utilize a, what he likes to call a backpack. He actually calls it his doggy because it, it's uh, a little uh, harness of sorts that it looks and feels like a backpack with a dog on the back. Tyler walking down the hallway. The doggy has a tail, a really long tail, which is essentially the uh, kind of the, the leash that gives him uh, probably three or four feet of freedom, but also we can wrap around our wrist so that we know where he is. It's a, an incredibly fulfilling thing to be able to engage with your, with your kid. And you know, he's only two, so the engagements will become even greater and uh, louder probably and uh, more intense, <laughs> good and bad uh, in the future. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm really happy. I mean, we, we wanted to have a kid and, uh, you know, it, it took us a little while to, to have a kid and we're so grateful that we have him. Rebecca puts pants on Tyler. We use something called a color identifier uh, for his clothes that it's this, uh, device that you uh, wave over or press up against clothing and it will say audibly what the color is or colors are um, so that we're able to, to ensure that he, uh, he's coordinated and uh, on top of that we have some you know, rather neutral like pants and shorts that go with anything too. So Tyler crawls on off the side of a bed. He's a little boy. I mean he loves he loves to play with cars and trucks, and we roll them back and forth in our house. Uh, he likes to play with blocks, and he loves building his towers. He calls them towers. Tyler stacks Lego pieces. Tyler knocks over the stack. He loves to destroy the towers, <laughs> and blocks go flying everywhere. Tyler retrieves a Lego block. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. It's, uh, it's just nice having a kid that has a good, he's got a good sense of humor. Eric tickles Tyler. He listens pretty well. Um, not Obviously not 100% because he's two, uh, but he's just, uh, I don't know, he's just a cute kid. Eric, suit and tie, speaking into a microphone. Our lives are astonishingly normal. Um, uh, yes, you know, my wife and I, can't see, but uh, the, the parenting and the uh, 
sort of the expectations of, that we have of, for Tyler um, are, are really no different than any other parent. Uh, we experience many of the same challenges in getting him to listen at times, at getting him to, um, you know, learn different things, but it's not, it's not because we can't see, it's just because we're parents. I think our life is really good, and uh, we're so happy that he's, he's our son and that we're uh, getting to know him better as he gets older. A circular logo, American Council of the Blind on the outer band, ACB in print and braille in the middle.